Welcome to LearnWire. It is May 2023 officially. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the best new AI writers on AppSumo for May 2023. As you could see, I have been doing a lot of reviews lately and a lot of them on AppSumo. We have WriteSeed and BrainPod and WordCraft and AutoWriter and Copify and doing some AI testing over here. Uh, you get to see a lot of softwares, Marmoff right here. There was a Get Genie and there was uh, another one over here, Content AI. Now those two are no longer, from what I saw this morning, they're no longer on AppSumo, so I can't include them in today's video. <clears throat> but certainly I'm going to include the ones that are still live on AppSumo and that I think I believe are fairly new to the platform. So we're going to be discussing those. I'll give you kind of my ratings, if you will, of them. We'll look at them. But before we do that, I wanted to bring this to your attention. So we're going to be doing a Learn Wire giveaway, right? So in all of May, I'm going to be doing a sort of what I'm calling a content blitz. I'm going to be trying to do two videos per day. As you could see last week, I believe four or five days of the week, I did put out two videos. And it seems like that will help me cover more of the softwares that are actually coming out on AppSumo because they are getting a lot of softwares and a lot of softwares that I want to review. And one video a day is just not going to cut it for a channel like this where I want to get this content out to you guys. So we are going to be putting out a lot of videos in May. And I also thought it would be a good opportunity because some of you have all told me that I should be running giveaways and things like that to try to get even more engagement with my audience and also just make make it fun and so that's what we're going to do this month in may and we're not going to just give away one thing we're actually going to give away we're going to try it out and then i'll take feedback as well about at the end of this month and this giveaway i'll take feedback maybe i'll put out a poll and you guys can let me know you know how it went and if you guys have any ideas to make it better but what i came up with for this month in may our giveaway is that we are going to be doing four giveaways right we're going to be doing one giveaway per week in May. So there's four weeks in May, so that there's going to be four software giveaways. So each video, including the one that you're watching right now, this is video number one that you will be able to qualify for the giveaway. So each video, I will reveal one finalist. So that will actually end up being, we need some time to go by in order to do these drawings, right? And so what we'll do is there'll be two videos coming out today and I will probably draw from them tomorrow or the next day, but all of the videos will be drawn from at least 12 to 24 hours after they are published. And that way there's enough time for you guys to watch them and, you know, make comments and so forth. Okay. So I hope that that makes sense. So each Monday I will add all finalists to a final spin. So you want to make sure that you watch the video on each monday so that next monday monday morning the video that comes out that's when i will do a final spin and all the finalists from all the previous videos will be put into the like the finalist spin manually and then we'll go ahead and it'll randomly pick a, a winner and the reason why i have to do it this way is because i'm putting out so many videos and i uh, literally for the life of me search the internet if you guys can find a tool that will actually let you put in like eight videos 10 videos at once and then scrape all the comment comments from all of those videos and then pick a winner that would be cool but there was nothing like that that existed and so all the ones that i found they they only work with one video which is really crazy almost makes me want to build my own tool for someone like this that wants to maybe do a giveaway for all the videos per month and then just kind of put them all together and do it all in one go that is really cool but that really does not exist so long story short each video i will pick a we will randomly pick a like a finalist and then we'll put all the finalists together and then that person will win. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. I won't spend this much time on going forward on the giveaway. So the rules for the giveaway, and that starts right now in this video, 
is that you must be subscribed to LearnWire. I am, there is a, a little bit of an incentive for me. I do want to grow the channel. I want to try to get to 10,000 subscribers and get more engagement on the channel. And so this is one way to do that. Also, I'll be paying, you know, with the business for this software. So these are not softwares that are given to me well, in free licenses or anything. I'm actually going to be paying for this software and then giving it away just because I love this channel and I love the community that it has. So, but you must be subscribed to LearnWire. You must like the video that you comment or commented on, and you also must leave a thoughtful comment. So don't just put like a smiley face or a cool video or something. Just say something that has somewhat of meaning, at least a sentence, <laughs> like a full sentence would be cool. But those are basically it, really basic. Just make sure to like and subscribe. And a lot of you are already subscribed, so you'll just like the video and leave a comment. And then finally, you can only be a finalist once per week, but you can, however, win multiple weeks. So each week it'll start from, so like, let's say you become a finalist on video one, video two, video three, um, you won't be able to be put in the finalist pod m more than once for that particular week. So I hopefully, hopefully this all makes sense. I know I'm spending a lot of time on this part, but this is the giveaway. I also put out a poll this morning for my three favorite softwares that I think you guys would like and that I would like to pick up for you guys for the giveaway. I just want to see which one you guys, if it's like a landslide, if there's some of them that you like more than others, maybe I'll buy multiple copies of that one and just give that one away or so forth. But it'll definitely be, let's go over to the community tab right over here. We've already got some votes right over here. We've got five votes. So Marmoff got a vote and Copify is getting the most votes. So it looks like possibly Copify will win, but we might want to make this fun and also pick up some of the other ones as well. But these are the three Marmoff, Wordcraft and Copify, which will also give you a little bit of a hint on which softwares that I recommend picking up for the month of May. All right, so let's get into the video real quick. So we have BrainPod on AppSumo. I did reviews on all of these and we have BrainPod right here. It starts at $39. It does have a lot of features and a, a ton of things that you can do with the software. It starts at $39 for one user, 15,000 credits. I didn't like the pricing on that. This is one of those ones where I really recommend probably going in at license tier three and you would get 100,000 credits per month. I think a credit is basically an article or I think I broke this down actually. I, and, and you guys know how I feel about the credit or token systems. I absolutely hate them. I despise them. It's, and it is a somewhat of a strategy for the developers so they can change the definition of what a token or credit is later on down the road if they need to. I believe that a word is about 0.75 of a credit. So basically I, I broke it down. You can go watch all of these reviews as well. Just go to LearnWire, go to my recent videos and you'll see all these software reviews. If you want to go and check out the in-depth reviews of all these, this one, I don't think it was horrible. I don't think that you'll, you can go wrong picking it up, but it was my least favorite out of all the softwares I reviewed or out of all the AI softwares, I should say that I reviewed in May, but here we go. You can also go with the license tier five at 499 and that's where you're going to get 600,000 per month. It is a little steep price, but you will have a lot of content that you'll be able to write with BrainPod. So that's BrainPod. We will go in and I'll show you the final scores that I had on these as well. I'll wait till the end to do that. So we had auto writer over here and I'm just going to scroll down. And this one was just, it was just okay for me. There was nothing that just jumped out that I was overly excited about as well. $117 for 105,000 generated words per month. What separated them from the other softwares is that they do have audio to video, uh, audio and video transcription. So you can put your videos in here, your audio, your podcasts, and it'll actually transcribe it. Uh, 4,500 seconds. How much is that? How many minutes is... 4,500 seconds. Just want to see minutes. So 75 minutes. So you're going to get about an hour and 15 minutes, depending on, you know, what your video lengths are. If they're only five, 10 minutes, then that's probably a pretty decent amount. But as far as, you know, like for a channel like mine, where the 20, 30 minute long videos, I would eat through this in about two videos, two, three videos tops uh, wouldn't mean too much for to me. 
but not terrible, but, uh, but this one also, that seems to be about the price point, about a hundred dollars, $120 for a hundred thousand words. That seems to be kind of the, the going rate right now for the apps coming out. Next we had right seed right over here, right seed. This one stepped it up a little bit more. This one was, there was nothing that was like really exciting about this software, but they do have a Chrome extension. They have over 50 templates. And I wanted to see, is this the one that had, yeah. So when you look at this one, you can go watch the review and everything. I think that the content quality was pretty good for the, with the AI, but it was, it was just a really nice basic AI writer tool that I think would be a really good one for you. If you're a beginner, but just getting into AI writing, this one might be a great tool to have in your toolkit because what separated this one and why I would definitely recommend this one is that it's one of the only unlimited words per month that you would be able to get. I don't know what they're actually using for their writer. Obviously, I don't think that they could be right using GBT 3.5. I mean, because that we know that that costs money. And so I'm not really sure how they're able to, at this point, the more I've learned about AI, I don't know how they're able to actually offer unlimited words, but there was word hero. And then there was, what was it? Hello scribe. And there might've been one other one that offered unlimited words per month. This is one I'm surprised, but they do have one at just $88 unlimited words per month. And it was pretty solid. I think it was a, it was pretty solid but it was also the interface was just pretty basic as well. So there was nothing that like stood out about this one. The, the standout point for this one is the unlimited words, just FYI. Okay. So we get to the ones where I can just, you'll, you'll probably notice I can't help it, but my voice will change as well. Wordcraft. I really, really enjoyed this one right here. I, th for me personally, I think that this is my favorite one that I reviewed because it had a couple different things that just stood out to me. And it was the, well, it had, yeah, this one is the one that had 70 pre-built templates. So that's kind of like prompt engineering. They did the prompts for you. And these weren't just like the standard, you know, write a YouTube video, video description. These ones were really, really specific sets of templates on top of the already 60 plus AI tools or templates that they already have. So they really, really have a lot to choose from. It did have a copy I, a copy AI feel to it as far as the way that it was a programmed and the user interface and so forth. And then a couple other things. I like that there was a filter that you could easily find what you're looking for in there. They have the image generator that I thought um, really good as well. Some of the image generators in these writers are not that great. This one, for some reason, I thought did a pretty good job. And you can see right here, more like a copy AI feel, but then they had another way to write the articles that was like a Jasper wizard type feel as well. And then the content when you're writing the long form of articles comes out really nicely organized and formatted. And then you get a little bit of SEO over here on the right hand column. And then what I really, really liked was that you were able to choose images. I don't see the I'm not seeing a screenshot from that, but you can go watch my video. I encourage you to go and watch the full review on this one. But on the left-hand side over here, you'll be able to choose images and easily insert them into your content over here. And then when you go to copy content, it just easily pastes into your WordPress and it pastes flawlessly and the image keeps as well. So really nicely done there. There's the image generator as well. They have 27 languages and so forth. So I really, really liked this one. And then the other standout thing that this one had is also keyword research. I really liked the keyword research tool. Now that I've reviewed a lot of these softwares this last month, even um, this one had my favorite keyword research tool inside built inside of it. I think that it was good enough to like, if you were, if you're looking at getting an AI writer and you, you know, you're on a budget and you also don't have a keyword research tool, this would be a great software to pick up because it has a keyword research built in and I thought it was actually pretty good. It gives you long tail keywords, suggestions, and so forth. So the only bummer on this one is that I wish that they had a even stronger offer. I do think that this is a good price for a hundred thousand words, but if someone wanted to even go up higher than that, right? To the 200,000 level, I thought, I think they should have offered a fourth level um, where it was like 230 bucks 
I really think that they would have been able to sell that as well and do the 200,000 words per month. And so that's the only thing. So, but you get a hundred thousand words, 117. I think that that's right. Like I said, right where pricing is and where it should be. If you have a tool like this, I am more of a fan of actually them not doing unlimited words, because I think that that actually deteriorates the, the quality of the software and it leaves you wondering, well, how are they getting their content? How, how in the world can you offer the unlimited words for an LTD at this point? So I do think that this is good pricing. I just wish that they would have doubled, done a double down where you could get 200,000 words. It would have been perfect, but still hundred thousand words is quite a bit. And for only just over a hundred dollars. So this one was actually my favorite. And then there was another one that I really, really liked as well. And this was Marmoth. This one was even a, a smidgen slicker and crisper of a design. You can tell that the, the quality of the uh, software was, was there starts at $49 and you can go up to 147 on this one. I just thought this one had a good layout. It had a couple of really cool things as well it has 49 tools and it had a, an AI database that they were still working on, or is that the one that actually had the AI database already working? Were you able to train the AI about your brand or so forth? I really thought that was really cool. And then also they have a chat feature built in as well. And so Marmoff, I think that this one is a uh, high quality and definitely worth picking up as well. 147, you're getting 150,000 words per month, unlimited documents, all kinds of different things. Yeah. This one also spit out highly formatted content as well. And you can see 150,000 words for 147. So it is right on par a hundred thousand words per month for 98. So this one is just a little bit more affordable than even WordCraft, but I do think WordCraft had more versatility and tools, but Marmoth was definitely really, really good as well. I really liked this one. I think it's going to be well supported as well. So definitely those are the five that I have for you. The two that I would recommend picking up the most that I liked were WordCraft and Marmoth. <clears throat> and we'll come over here and we'll just look at my scores that I had right over here. So brain, brain pod, I gave it a three out of five, and I'm going to try to do this when I do these reviews as well is have a certain criteria, you know, the UI, the speed, measuring any bugs that I notice, things like that. And then the quality of content is something I'm going to be adding into my reviews as well, but definitely WordCraft was a 4.4 out of five. Auto writer was a three out of five. Right seed was a 3.5 out of five and Marmoth was a four out of five. So you can definitely tell that I don't think you could go wrong picking up any of them because none of them were less than a three, but I definitely, definitely would pick up WordCraft or Marmoth. And so I hope that this video just kind of helped you with all the different AI writers that are currently available. Now I know that I didn't add in here. I'm going to thinking about doing another video where I just talk about the best ones period, because we have some other ones as well, Copify and Kateb and there's some other ones that are still on here. Wordplay is still available. So there's still a lot of AI writers that I didn't go over, but these are the new ones that I reviewed in April and going into May. So hope, hopefully you guys got value from this. Remember to like subscribe and comment. If you want to be in the running to get one of the softwares, I'm going to be picking up either right. Uh, I'm going to be picking up either WordCraft, Marmoth, Copify, any other ones as well. And so let's have some fun this week, this month in May and I'll see you in the next video.